Hello to you all. So, with this past weekend being the end of Daylight Savings Time, I figured what better time to produce a video about one of the most relevant items that I have in my collection, my Atmos Mantle Clock. This beautiful contraption is not only a very striking timepiece, but is also a rather unexpected scientific marvel to those unfamiliar with the Atmos. This clock is, in fact, a near-perpetual motion device. What I mean by this is, this clock has the ability to run indefinitely without any human intervention whatsoever. This clock has no batteries or power cable, nor is there any place for the owner to wind up a mechanism. Honestly, if it weren't for daylight savings time, I would never have to even touch this clock, and it will keep itself running for quite literally decades on end. Now, in this house, we do obey the laws of thermodynamics, so of course this isn't a truly perfect perpetual motion device. This clock does harness its power from somewhere, and that source is quite remarkable. In fact, the Atmos name gives a clue towards what this power source actually is. These clocks wind themselves through the changes in the atmosphere around them. This is all accomplished through what lies within this brass canister located on the rear of the Atmos clock. Inside this canister is a set of bellows, which contain a mixture of ethyl chloride. Since this substance has both a rather high expansion coefficient and a relatively low boiling point of 54 degrees Fahrenheit, or 12.2 degrees Celsius, as the ethyl chloride reacts to the changes in the ambient temperature around the clock, it causes the bellows to expand and contract. And so, attached to these bellows is this small chain. As the bellows move in and out, this mechanical motion is then translated into a linear action, which in turn winds the mainspring of the clock. This action is simply remarkable and impressively efficient. For the model of Atmos, like my example here, a temperature swing of just a mere single degree Celsius is enough to provide two full days of power for the clock. So yes, while in theory it is possible to starve this clock of its power supply enough to get it to stop running, in practice this would be a monumentally difficult task to achieve. Energy is always being converted by this clock, so it could never be considered a true perpetual motion device, but not much else out there has ever been able to get this close to one. The motion of the Atmos clock is produced through an adaptation of a torsion pendulum design. This large brass wheel is suspended vertically down the core of the Atmos clock's structure. As the pendulum rotates, the small bearing located near the top of the shaft then intersects with a small lever, which with each pass of the bearing will advance and in turn drives the clock's hands. However unique to the pendulum in the Atmos would be its slower rotational speed. While most clocks which use a torsion pendulum will usually oscillate back and forth between 10 and 20 seconds, the pendulum in the Atmos moves much slower at a rate of one minute for each full back and forth rotation. Really, as you observe these clocks in motion, it is simply incredible to watch the delicate ballet of this mechanism in action. The movement is so precise and quite literally effortless, and completely silent, which is rather notable for a mechanical timepiece. There's no ticking of an escapement, no clicking of a quartz movement, and no hum from an electric motor. This clock is pin drop silent in operation. And yes, when I say delicate ballet when describing this clock, I do not use those words lightly. These things are very fragile, like any precision instrument. The pendulum hangs from an impossibly small torsion wire which, as you might expect, can snap with any rough handling of the clock and result in a costly repair. Fortunately, the design of the base includes this locking mechanism, which lifts and stabilizes the pendulum to allow owners to handle their Atmos clocks safely. Speaking of which, let's get my Atmos clock off of this highly questionable folding table and back on top of its proper home, the hutch I have in my dining room. Fortunately, this piece of furniture is about as stable as you can get and helps ensure the safe operation of my Atmos clock even when certain curious critters like to venture places where they aren't allowed. 
Despite this fragility though, the mechanism itself is remarkably robust and owners can indeed expect many decades of endless operation of their Atmos clocks without any servicing at all. The relatively slow speed of the pendulum, coupled with the jeweled bearings of the gear train, all but eliminate any friction within the moving elements of the clock. Most models of Atmos clocks are expected to require a professional service every 20 to 30 years. However, if the conditions are right, many owners can find that their clocks will maintain perfect operation many years beyond this threshold. My particular Atmos clock here has been running almost non-stop since it was first assembled over 40 years ago back in 1981, and still keeps excellent time. For a purely mechanical timepiece, it is still wonderfully accurate, and as it sits right now, my Atmos loses only about one minute every three to four months. Of course, because of all this precision, the quality of craftsmanship that goes into the construction of these clocks has to be second to none. Now... Before I comment on the company which produces this marvel, I must preface this section by saying that I am particularly atrocious at pronouncing things, and I apologize if I completely butcher this when I say it. While the company is officially known as Jeje Lakota, to make things simple, I'm going to use what seems to be the more common nomenclature among watch enthusiasts when referring to this company, and use their initials JLC from this point going forward. While designs for clocks powered by the atmosphere have dated all the way back to the early 17th century, the first prototype Atmos clock was built by Swiss engineer Jean-Léon Rutte in 1928. After further refinement to the design and a switch from the previous mercury-powered mechanism to the current ethyl chloride mixture, JLC would then assume production of the Atmos clock in 1935 and has been responsible for their manufacture ever since. Yes, to this very day, the Atmos clock is still in production, nearly 90 years after JLC first introduced the design. The current models offered by the company are truly spectacular, with certain models even featuring the ability to depict phases of the moon and highly ornate enclosures. Of course, with the premium new clocks, you can expect to pay a premium to own one as well, but Atmos clocks can certainly be found for less on the used market with fully functional examples in good condition usually fetching between $600 and $800. My particular Atmos clock, though, has a much more sentimental origin for me. So I have a bit of personal information on this plaque here, which I have blocked out for this video, because this Atmos clock was a gift that my maternal grandfather received upon his retirement in 1981. Nearly every memory I have of the time I spent growing up at my grandparents' house has had this clock spinning away in the background. Looking at this clock, I always associate it with memories of my grandfather, this towering Polish man with a big smile who was always ready to let loose a quip of dry humor and old folk idioms. And all you would have to do is mention the word gramp around anyone from my mother's side of the family, and there was always a good memory ready to share about him. And after his passing, and then followed by my grandmother a few years after him, I just pleaded with my family if I'd be able to take ownership of his Atmos clock in remembrance of the two of them. I am just privileged to consider myself the custodian of this remarkable timepiece, and I live by the vow I made to always keep this clock in motion for the remainder of my life for them. And because of this, that is the reason why I have this wonderful Atmos clock here to share with all of you. I thank you all for watching. Items of great fascination such as this always attract my attention. And I hope you found this look at my Atmos clock to be fascinating as well. Please stick around for more videos about the sorted stuff from my collection. And until then, have a great day, everybody.